Hello everyone, Giselle here. I am back at the dog park in Colleen. If you've been following my videos, you'll know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I wanted to try a different area today. And uh, it's such a beautiful day, it's so sunny. Um, I've been indoors, very focused the last couple of hours. I was uh, at a Starbucks sipping on a matcha green tea and writing. I'm so happy to be writing again. I'm working on my fourth book and it just feels so good and I, I don't know I must have sat for a good hour and a half maybe I don't know maybe two hours I was so focused and even at that I didn't want to move. I was so into it which feels good to have that flow especially as a writer. Uh, for those of you who are writers you know what I'm talking about when you feel kind of stuck and you just don't know what to write but once you get started and I'll, I'll be perfectly honest I've been kind of procrastinating and uh, letting other things <laughs> be more important than my writing and my book and then I just decided that uh, no I'm just gonna get started so I set the environment which sometimes you have to do that which for me was treating myself to a uh, a warm tea, um, a healthy choice, and um, and I got a little snack as, as healthy as I could get in a Starbucks, <laughs> and um, started writing. And I, then I realized that, you know, I have been planted on my butt way too long, and ideally you're supposed to get up every eh, 20, 30 minutes and stretch and, and do nice things for your body because it's not that good to sit all the time. So I'm here at this park again. So I wanted to show you, first of all, before I start walking, uh, just some things here. This is really cool. One of the cool things about this park is this little workout area. I think this is really amazing that they have this option. And then they have this um, chart where they show you some different things that you can do. I like that first day, second day, third day. That's really, really awesome. And then they have, of course, the playground area for the kids, and I think that's my favorite spot over there. I guess you can see it. And that would be my the swings. <laughs> okay, and then there's the bridge. That's where I went last time. Now, this time I'm going to go a different route. So, let me see. I'll just take a little walk here. I imagine you can see that. Yeah, it's really beautiful out here. And today, again, it's just a perfect day. Oh my gosh. The sun's out, there's a slight breeze. And uh, it's really nice. It's really nice. Okay. Yeah, I always say the angel of sun and the angel of air is blessing me now. Hi, how's it going? Cool. Alright. So, what do I want to share today? <laughs> Alright, I have been feeling a lot more enthusiastic and just feeling so much better. Of course, <laughs> I have a special someone in my life which <laughs> really uh, makes a difference, but um, without going into detail with that, it's, yeah, <laughs> so that's been um, really bringing me a lot of joy. And uh, I just, I feel more alive and encouraged to do more and to pursue the things that I really love. Um, that being said, it's, I'm going to show you this real quick. It's very pretty here. There we go. But that being said, it's real easy to get caught up in, oh, day-to-day -day life, meaning things that you feel like you have to do, and especially if you have a list of things, you know. Um, a list that would even overwhelm Santa, okay? <laughs> um, of course it's going to be overwhelming. Of course it's going to be exhausting. And it it's draining. It can actually suck the life force from you. Because it's almost like you have... 
putting too much expectations on yourself and what you supposedly need to do in a certain time period. Oh my God, it's windy. Okay, I hope you can hear me. Okay, let's see, it's a little better maybe. Okay. Anyway, I invite you to sit down and kind of reflect upon the way you've been the way you've been doing things and if you have been finding yourself like overwhelmed because you are doing so much at once um, then you might want to rethink that um, it's real easy to get caught up in the things that you think you should do and I'm trying to get more light here I don't know if that's possible hmm. okay we'll just do the best we can here um, so it's easy to get caught up in the things you think you should do. And huh, there's the should word again. Um, I don't know if you've heard me say this before. You gotta be careful about the shoulds and shouldn'ts because it's like you don't wanna should and shouldn't all over yourself if you get my drift. Okay, uh, wow, what's that? I think of a long pipe. Oh, interesting, okay. Anyway, uh, you guys are exploring this with me, I want you to know, okay? <laughs> Anyway, it's um, good to kind of look and see how you're, how you're addressing things in life and what's really important to you or what you may think is important. You know, really uh, reevaluate, I guess, um, to decide and to weigh out what is truly important and then look at how is that affecting your body. Uh, how are you feeling in your body? Are you overwhelmed? Are you feeling joy or a sense of accomplishment? Are you feeling just drained and so tired and exhausted? Now, for the longest time I was experiencing that other part, feeling drained and exhausting, exhausted and just, oh my gosh, just too driven too driven and then I like I said being in a being in a relationship with someone who I really connect with does make a difference but I know it's also a choice because I've experienced both you know where I felt overwhelmed and then where I have felt lighter and felt I don't know a sense of happiness or more joy in my life um, by kind of rearranging things or doing things differently and allowing myself some downtime, if you will, to do what really nurtures my soul. And I'm gonna perch here for a minute. Let me see here if I can. 